Hello, Leo, and welcome to my channel. I am Ulrich. I'm a Lenormand card reader, but this time we will use a financial deck for your card reading. The deck contains 44 cards, and the laying is done with three cards you see here in front of me. You can also see four objects here um, up the table, uh, meaning we will do four card readings for each astrological sign for the month of July, and this video here is for Leo. From these four objects you see here, you choose or you pick one that you think relates most to your personality, or you choose one you feel most comfortable with. This object of your choice should or it will relate the best to your current financial situation or the advice that you are receiving from the cards regarding that fin financial situation. Of course, uh, you can watch all four card readings uh, related to the Leo sign. And after you watched all four of the videos, uh, then you can decide what symbol or what object is fitting the best your uh, personal card reading or your financial situation. So um, starting next then for Leo, uh, here we go for the reading for the month of July for the sign of Leo starting with uh, the matches group, I explained the, the groups. So first we have the matches group who represents the fire sign. Then we have the stone group who represents the earth elements. Um, we also have here the aerosol sprayer who represents the air element. And then the shell, we have the water elements. So here we go, uh, Leo, for your reading for the month of July. Hello, Leo, and welcome to the matches group or the fire group for your card reading for financial card reading for the month of July. You see the three cards here in front of me. Um, the first card we see here, it means awards. I'm explaining the card. So um, this card is about that we compensate ourselves for things that we've done in the past. Um, meaning we worked hard and we want to give ourselves a gift for compensating ourselves for feeling better. For instance, it's like you uh, take a good, a nice a warm glass of milk when you've been outside in the freezing, milk, in the freezing uh, wind. Uh, the milk is very warm and it warms you inside. So it feels delicious. So that's the, the feeling of comparing I want to, I want to give you here. Um, sometimes we work hard um, and um, after this hard work we want to give ourselves a reward uh, like we work hard for a very long time and, and then we want to give ourselves uh, some benefits it's, it's normal in a way um, as humans, we have little, uh, little treats the, that we have for, for rewarding uh, ourselves. So it's a, uh, it's a well-known practice, but this card actually warns you not to overdo it. Um, and most importantly, not to destroy the efforts that you have uh, put there um, for the path that you've opened for yourself. Of course, you deserve this reward, but uh, the question also that this card is, uh, that this card is asking you, um, is it wisely to do so? So it asks you to think um, today for compensation that, that maybe will make you uh, feel happy and do, then you don't need to pay a huge amount, a huge amount of money for it. For instance, you can do something non-substantial. You can take a walk, you can read a book, you can listen to music, uh, you can do anything that you personally like, but that there are few expenses connected to this uh, moment of relaxation. So whatever it is, idleness, it's yoga or whatever it is, um, get to know yourself and make a list of things that make you happy, a list that makes you tick, and you will find a reward uh, that makes you very happy without it costs you actually a lot of money. This is what this card is telling you. The next card is a card, uh, this card means overconsumption. What does this mean? 
Well, we live in a world today of overconsumption. Uh, we are daily confronted with advertisements. So sometimes our definition of essential obligation and goods is no longer the same of that of our parents. Um, while these people were aspired to provide for basic necessities, today our basic necessities have drastically changed. It's unthinkable, for instance, that we don't have a cell phone and most of us uh, possess a smartphone. It's part of daily life, including the internet. And also a lot of people, if uh, after Corona, that is at least, uh, a lot of us like to travel uh, to abroad. So this card means it tells us that society has evolved. The essentials that we have, the essential goods, the essential needs that we have, have been re and deplaced. So it asks you to evaluate your real needs in this whole new society. Um, it asks you also a question, with all these gadgets that you may be bought in the past, are you happier than your ancestors? Do you feel more comfortable or is it like a drug? This overconsumption, maybe for some of us, um, it blurs our perspective. Some people of us, and this is what this card asks you, Leo, um, are collapsing under unnecessary unnecessities. Like we lose sight or you lose sight of, of, of the essential things of life, the things that make you happy here. So hyperconsumption can, can blind uh, people for happiness. So it asks you to determine what your really need, what your real needs are, and to estimate what is non-essential for you. It asks you also if you would be worse off if you don't have these gadgets that you feel the need for buying. Would your life really be that worse, or can you balance it? So this card asks you. Uh, to live according to your personal needs and of course not what society dictates you or what society or tells you to buy. It tells you that uh, maybe your wallet will uh, come in a better condition and your mind also will be better off. The last card that we see here, I cannot say this is a happy card, but we will try to put it in context. Maybe uh, you're uh, in a difficult financial situation because this card means bankruptcy. Uh, no need to be alarmed, but I just explained the, the, the card here. Maybe it means that your financial sit situation at the moment, it puts pressure on you. Uh, you worry about the money, maybe in the night you wake up, maybe you have def deficits in your account and you have reached a point of no return. So if this is the case for you, maybe you spend too much, you overspend. Um, this card suggests that you let help yourself. If, if this is related to a business, um, it advises you to uh, contact people. Like for instance, if you're uh, going towards uh, bankruptcy or, or very uh, high uh, financial deficits, it, it asks you to go to your bank, talk to the specialists and making up some plan for a repayment. But of course, before you start and, and, and you sign any kind of agreement, inform yourself and consult more than a professional. Alas, for, for some of us, uh, bankruptcy is simple and, and it's allowed to start from scratch. But be aware, however, that if you make a, a financial decision, it will have consequences. You need to make, this card tells you, if you're in a, a financial disturbing situation, you will need to make cutbacks. Probably you will need to drastically change your, uh, your ways of living, your consumption habits, and you will need to make out what is really important for you. If you did not reach that point yet, um, it might still mean that you have financial uh, worries, of course, but think about a modification of your behaviors. This is what this card tells you. So if you're not yet there, this card tells you maybe if you act now, you can still avoid hitting a wall. Um, this is a card of your reflection 
uh, soon to come or there is already there now. So going back, um, it tells you here, uh, you can award yourself after a hard work. If you have over consumed in the last weeks or month, um, just be wise and maybe it's needed some comebacks, uh, cutbacks. And if you are in a very difficult situation or you're going towards there, think wisely. If you don't know how to get out, uh, adv take advice from people, um, a banker or a, or a bankruptcy specialist or a, or a person that you trust and can help you for getting out of this situation. So uh, this is all for the matches group or the fire group for the sign of uh, Leo for uh, July 2021. I hope you enjoyed this reading, uh, Leo. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Hello, Leo, and welcome to your card reading. This time we continue with the stone group or the earth group. So the first card you see here on the left, it means awards. After we've done hard work, it's normal that uh, for most of us that we get some reward or we have some relaxation. Like for instance, you've been in the cold, you come home and you reward yourself with a warm glass of milk. It feels very nice. So you get what I mean. Um, if you have done a lot of uh, efforts for your work, because I think this is what this card means, um, maybe you feel um, like a need for compensating yourself for your efforts. You want to reward yourself. Actually, it's a normal reaction um, because we have little uh, treats or rewards uh, to give ourselves uh, to continue. So in a way, we, we feel like we need to balance ourselves. Um, but this card also warns you, uh, it tells you not to overdo it. And most importantly, not to lose your focus in your current path that you are following uh, for a business or for your work. It tells you not to um, destroy your efforts and not to make too much expenses so you can follow your path so you can end up exactly exactly where you want to be of course you uh, we deserve a reward but uh, this card also asks you is it uh, wise we see the eggs here to break the eggs or we just keep the eggs uh, for later uh, so uh, it asks you to think about and look for a compensation maybe that don't cost you money um, meaning you, can, you could listen to music, you can, uh, you can go into yoga, um, you, you can uh, read a book, you can do things that are creative or you can make a drawing, something that interest, uh, interests you maybe out of your past, some, a hobby that you gave up that actually don't cost money. Um, it asks you to be creative and do things that actually don't cost money for relaxing you. That is what this card says to you. It doesn't matter if the activity is, is passive or if it's active, if you feel good like boxing, it's fine also. Um, it just tells you, just do something that don't cost too much money, just balance the whole thing. Um, if you don't really know what, uh, what makes you happy, Maybe you can make a list. You can make a list of things that you like for relaxing yourself and things that make you tick, that make you happy. So I'm sure if you do so, you can find uh, some things that, that make you very happy and they don't financially put a lot of pressure on you. The second card here, it represents time. Uh, how, how we concept this? Well, um, It says actually, it wants to say us that um, if we have um, some outstanding debts or things that are not yet paid, that time is not our friends. In general, when we have uh, credits on credit cards or debit cards, there's some interests that we are confronted with. So in that case, time is not our friend because our debts will only increase. It tells you also not to 
bury your head in the sand um, and wait uh, because it will not improve your situation. It asks you to take charge of things um, if you can as soon as possible. Do not wait for the holidays or on a holiday to take action um, because the situation will not improve. Um, it tells you it's time to act. Um, it tells you also you need to secure yourself financially if you can do so to become more stable. Um, maybe um, it tells you maybe you need to have a change of lifestyle. Um, you need to make some radical changes. Um, habits that led to a certain situation that uh, makes you unhappy. Maybe you need to change that habit. Uh, it bring you in a certain financial situation that causes to cost you money. So it asks you to reflect on those things. So in the future, you will not end up in the same situation. For instance, take out a paper and a pencil and analyze your situation, write things down that brought you door, there. Um, <clears throat> This is what this card uh, tells you. Take the reins uh, of your own budget and rush toward more sustainability. Just um, do all things at the time, what one time, and it urges you also if you can do and you have passed um, here uh, certain outstanding tests you have uh, for making some savings. That's what it urges you also um, to do. The last card here is about creativity. So the whole cards actually fit in a little bit in the same context. But what does this card mean? Well, um, in the world we are today, we can buy everything. So uh, the current society where we're living, uh, it actually suffocates our wallet, but it also suffocates our imagination. Uh, we don't do anything creative anymore. <clears throat> We just go to a local store um, and we buy things. So, for instance, like um, if it's your, your child's birthday, uh, probably uh, you go to the store, you go shopping and you go find, try to find the ideal present for your child. It's just an example that I'm giving here. But instead of searching for, for five, six hours for this present in several stores, maybe, maybe you can do it yourself. So this uh, cards... Uh, card encourages you to use maybe the creativity that you had before and then you didn't, uh, you don't display anymore. So maybe the person who after who receives these gifts from, uh, from you will be happy because personal gifts are very different than bought gifts. So maybe the, the person in itself who receives the gifts from you or you do the creativity for will appreciate it more <clears throat> than your hunt for the search, if you get my point. Um, if you need to organize a party, maybe instead of uh, taking a party planner or, or somebody letting somebody help you, do most of the things yourself and let your uh, family help you. Uh, you can orchestrate the whole thing uh, if you want and you will, your wallet will be very happy with the result and also uh, you will feel very happy and creative about the whole things and also the most important you will pay maybe half or less this card tells you to be original creative this is the order of the day so it asks you to start thinking out of the box and ask yourself what uh, what your real needs are so take some time today to question your creativity maybe hobbies you had before and think what you can do yourself to be creative and save money. Make you room for your imaginative spirit in the kitchen. Maybe it can also apply in the office. Maybe you need to, uh, or in your work or, or in the, the, the things that you manage. Um, it, 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 it asks you to go on an adventure um, that costs you few money. That is what this card actually is about. So we summarize, um, you work hard and you want to compensate yourself and it's normal you want to do so. This card asks you to follow your path of destination and uh, keep a very good track what you spend 
for your relaxation and try to minimize these expenses. This card tells you that time on debts is not your friend. It brings you deeper in a situation. So it urges you to settle your, if you have debts. If you don't have debts, it urges you to make savings. That's what this card is telling you. And the last card is, instead of hunting and buying presents, it urges you to out your creativity. It urges you to be the creative, creative person that you maybe are, but you don't know, or it urges you to be, become more creative again. So that is the, that is the total here for the, for the sign of uh, Leo um, for the month of uh, July 2021 for the Stone Group. I hope you enjoyed my uh, reading, uh, Leo. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Hello, Leo, and welcome to the Aerosol or the Air Group for this card's reading for the month of July for uh, Leo, for the sign of Leo. So the first card we see here is, uh, this card means that everything cycles back to us, meaning life has its challenges and no matter in what stage uh, of life we are, we have expenses that we are, that we did not expect, but actually we know they will return. You know, if your house is 20 years old, it's not new anymore. So you will expect some expenses. Maybe you need to change the roof. You need to change the plumbing. Some floors need to be changed or you want to change the, the, the kitchen. What I want to say here is that life has its circles and things come back to you. Some expenses uh, are can you can anticipate and other expenses you cannot anticipate. For example, uh, we can take also the, the, the example of childbirth and infancy. And some people believe that, uh, that most expenses come uh, when the baby is young. But then you soon, you soon realize uh, as the children get older, also the expenses uh, get more as they become teenagers with the sports they do, activities, their clothes. Um, even cell phones, laptops, you know, the times change and we need to adjust. So just because they are 20 also, it doesn't mean that the expenses are over. They go to university, you need to pay the accommodations. So you will, you are faced with different stages of expenses. So that is what this card tells you. Uh, they all face economic challenges. Um, this card tells you also uh, that you should incalculate those expenses. And if you have, um, and try to, and, and encourage you to try to make savings, even though uh, you have all these responsibilities and expenses. Uh, it tells you um, if you can, and you have open standing bets, debts to repay them uh, till that you can complete with this stage. So, um, it also tells you to realize if one phase of life financially is finished, another, another circle is coming back to you. So if there is financial unclarity in your current situation, it tells you um, to erase that and you gain control back over your money. The next card that we see here, it has, uh, it's, it's related to our ancestors and perspectives they had. So it tells us um, about the luxury that we are, that we are, that we have in our daily life. So for instance, our grandparents and great grandparents made it possible that we are where we are today. Um, those people mostly lived on one salary for a large family, several children. And when they went in retirement, even they lacked some money. This card asks you, or maybe you assume, or you think that they were probably better off than you are right, uh, that you are now, uh, right now at this moment. But you need to maybe reflect 
two times about this. Maybe it's uh, what you tell yourself and maybe you need to stop this magical thinking. Think about uh, the situation of those older people of your ancestors or your grandparents and what distinguishes theirs and your generation from each other. Also, it, <clears throat> excuse me, it, it, it asks you to see how contented they were with the little things they, they had. Um, they had no access to credit, for example, as we have today. They were paid out accordingly to what they worked and what they earned, and they didn't have anything more. So they needed to balance very strictly. Also, they didn't have any perspective for exotic trips, herbs, or whatever. It's just they needed to be very focused. The home loans were, uh, they were very focused on home loans, and mostly they were long paid off before retirement because they knew they had no uh, social backup plan. It's actually the reverse situation as many of us uh, know these days. Of course, accordingly to the country where you live, in some countries also there are no pension plans, but for most, most of us, there is a backup plan. But for the older generation, uh, the situation of credit and debit cards and making debts, it was impossible for them. There is no possible parallel uh, with them and now. So this card asks you to think about the luxurieties of life. It asks you to reflect of, over previous generations, how they were, the concessions they made to get there. And it asks you to reflect if your situation is really that bad now. Maybe you're undergoing some circles, but is your situation really that bad? This is what this card asks you. Then uh, the last card we see here is the card of youth. Um, for example, for giving you an example, boys will be boys and girls just want to have fun. Uh, this is a very good example for this card. So you're probably used to justify some uh, maybe you had some financial recklessness in the past or you did not control too, uh, too well, but probably it costed you some money. So the, the, what this card asks you, did you suffer from these outbursts? Did you think about it? It says also, regardless a person's age, cash management and optimization, it requires maturity. Uh, this, this maturity with most of us uh, comes with older age. It's not for everybody it comes, but for most of us it comes with older age. It's also part of here, as we saw, the circle of life. However, those who have been uh, able to take quick control over their consumption habits mostly come stronger out of this battle of life than compared to their peers. So the question that this card asks you, um, are you mature or do you still have spendthrift or are you already wise and do you control these outbursts? That is what uh, this card asks you. Um, it also tells us, it's double, remember you're never too young to be financially mature and you're never too old to change your financial behavior. If you have, if you listen to this reading and you have the advantage of youth, and at the same time you're financially mature, this card tells you that soon your efforts will be rewarded. You will maybe greatly rewarded. If you have the assets of being older and wiser and experienced, use those abilities to discard you in your advantage, enjoy life gifts, balance those gifts, in the financial stage that you are. And if you do so, if you balance, if you are mature, old or young, the rewards will follow soon. So this is a very positive card. Um, but what does the do this card tells you? That we are, are uh, confronted with the circle of life, expenses coming back, our car gets old, our house has expenses, our body also, it needs maintenance. So this is the circle of our life that we are confronted with. 
we need to think about others, other generation, other people in the world who have maybe difficulties, who don't have backup plans. Think about your backup plans that you have. Um, compare yourself with other people, with other generations who have worse off than you, who live maybe in squatters. So um, think about this wisely. And if you are not yet financially mature, think wisely about it. Uh, think wisely what you do with your money. Be wise with your money. So that is what uh, this card tells you. They are quite positive. It's like more a philosophical approach of the cards. But um, if you control your money, soon uh, you will get financially better off. This is uh, the card reading for Leo for the month of July 2021. Thank you for watching uh, to the aerosol or the air group uh, for Leo. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello, Leo, and welcome to the Shell or the Water Group for this month's card reading for the month of July. The first card we see here is the card of love and its context to money. So probably you deeply love your wife, your partner, or your girlfriend. You love your children, your friends, and you want to show them affection. In general, we do this. Or you do this by spoiling them. You buy them a present, you give them an amount of money, you buy them a dinner, you go to some fast food joint, you go to a restaurant, all to express the feelings towards them, uh, to express your feelings of love as a gift to them. Maybe each year you do a big search to find the, the rare pearl, to see their eyes shine, to make their eyes smile, to make them smile. But here this card tells you that love cannot be bought. Rather than shopping around in malls, how to please your loved ones with a gift, simply take time with them. This is what this card says. Show your interest toward them and their value toward them Show them your time, give them your time. Time is considered as the highest form of payment. And money is much lower in that category. The best memories that we carry around with us are these uh, probably that are related to anecdotes, uh, small moments of fun and past activities and overall spending time with loved ones and not from objects or gifts or toys that we give them. This card asks you to be gentle with yourself and see the positive income that will come from this gift of time you share with them. This time, this card tells you it's not about the financial side, but it's the depth of your relationship and the time you spend with those relationships that you will have with those who you love or those who you appreciate. This is what this card is about. The second card you see here is about proportions. It's like putting everything in context and giving, giving it its relative place. It tells you that we can only estimate the real value of money if you put it in context to your own financial situation. It's also a card of reflection. It wants to tell you that, it wants to make you aware of the value of money. A monthly payment for a loan for someone's home is different for a family, for instance, living in a poor country. They sometimes need to manage with one salary and they have several children. Two dollar or two euro don't have the same consequences for a low income family as it has for a high yield one. For some poor families, it can make the difference between eating that day or not eating. So another example, for instance, is you buy a computer. It's not the same for everyone. Uh, it's a simple concept, and yet, yet it's very it's difficult for some of us to grasp. Maybe you count your expenses, in, not in terms of amount, but you tell to yourself, oh, it's only a percentage of this, percentage of that. So. This is like about finding and establishing a relationship uh, between the outflow of your money and your salary. 
this card tells you that it's you who do the counting and who was in charge of your uh, proportions and balances. It asks you to see the importance of the disimbur disimbursements um, compared to your earnings. It asks you to relativize your current expenses and educate yourself and teach yourself more about ratios considered respectable, viable. Maybe you take a piece of paper, make some categories of importance for yourself and calculate your expenses, put them in there respectively categories, those who are important, not important, and some of them will be maybe out of proportion because this card is out of proportion. So maybe some uh, you spend too much. Maybe it's related to the spending to the loved ones because we saw that the loved ones are here. Um, it tells you to put everything in context. So if you see that some of these categories, if you write it down, are too high, maybe you need to make some changes in those categories uh, and adjust them. This card asks you to make the big pictures and how to spend your money and put everything at its rise place in its categories, set priorities. This is what this card means. The last card we see here uh, is about um, a raise of salary or getting or earning more money or working with the money that we currently own. This card, maybe you have done a lot of efforts and you're waiting on uh, the, your next raise in salary. Um, and maybe you wonder um, if your personal situation and personal possibilities uh, would improve for yourself um, in your company. And it, this card asks you if you think um, that this increase in salary would really improve the situation that you are in. This card wants to make you reflect. It wants to make you reflect over your salary. Um, if it really would bring you more happiness because actually this card means that it might not be the case. Maybe because we see the loved one card here, maybe this is more important for you than the raise in salary. This is what this card said. Like you need to make the appropriate balance between the spending, the love. And I think here it tells you that the raise in salary will not make exactly you more happy. This is what this card tells you. Um, maybe the increase in the salary will not have the effect that you expect. But this card tells you, on the other hand, to take authority over what you have and learn to balance it. It's like you say, with the same amount of money, we can buy the same things. Maybe here uh, you can buy secondhand things uh, in secondhand store that still own a nice warranty. It's like for rebalancing your budget, not necessarily earn more. It's like changing your perspectives in context to your salary. So maybe you should be happy with, you, with, with what you have. You should spend time to your loved ones. Maybe this is what this card tells you. It also tells you on the other side, additionally, uh, to manage better your daily expenses. So if you have expenses, uh, it asks you, do you put everything in contact? Do you, do you balance your expenses? Um, if you balance better, because you see the scales here, I think you will have an overall improvement in love and in life. If you put everything in its proportion and, its, and in its right place, because this is what this laying is about. It's about putting the money in context to everything, to the loved ones. So, Leo, for the month of July, 
this is all for now for the shell group or the water group. I hope you enjoyed this card reading. Thank you for watching and see you next time. If you like, of course, you can subscribe. Um, if you want to, please feel, uh, feel free to do so and see you next time.